So welcome guys, it's back. What's back? Queen Chase is back. So we're back with school guidelines and um, essentially this is for the SJT section. Let's get straight into it. Don't like wasting time. So one of the first things is that address problems with all members of the group if one is found to be slowing down the group. So by this, I believe it's a little bit evident that teamwork is a big thing. So whenever someone is essentially putting the effort of the team to detriment, especially if they're not able to meet a deadline, and it's for medical school and it can cause a backlog in, for example, treating patients and not having a sense of focus while treating patients because you know that I need to complete this work, I need to complete this work. It's something that's very, very inappropriate, um, especially if you do not address this as a team. The good thing to do is to speak to the members of the team so that they can come up with a solution. Just explaining this in terms of logistics for someone to be able to advise the person who's slowing him down. For example, you may in the team want to select an individual who the person reveres and can give them real good advice. So that's the first one explained and, and by speaking to the person before contacting the teacher, one, you're saving the teacher's time, two, it's showing that you have a sense of control and three, the person could simply forget. Like, we're all human and potentially he's been forgetting, he's been neglecting it because he's been busy, maybe has personal scenarios or situations or something along those lines. Now the second point is that cheating should always be reported as it can affect public confidence in the NHS and goes against the GMC guidelines. Now we all know cheating, um, you know, we, we don't want to be a snitch, but this is something that's important. The reason why I'm saying this is, for example, if your uncle, your sister, your brother, God forbid, is in hospital and you know that this doctor is an unfit doctor, no way would you allow them to be treated by this doctor. Now this would be essentially like a double standard if he was to allow other people's sisters, uncles, brothers to be treated by this unfit doctor. Now you need to suck up all that pride and snitch on the person um, even though it might seem really bad and you're not used to it, it's something that you have to do especially for this exam because no one in reality really cares it's just trying to score points in the exam. Now the third point, working together in a task designed for one person in the group is unacceptable and is always very inappropriate. Now an explanation for this is that it's the same explanation as the one prior. It could be an unfit doctor who hasn't put in the effort and essentially can be killing people on the job. So you might say that's a little bit extreme, but it can be the case because one life in treating 15 to 20 patients may not seem that bad but it's one life no one wants to lose that one life now to the fourth principle a display of remorse i should say remorse rse can be considered when deciding reasonable punishment this is not for the students this is for the teacher showing remorse it shows that he wants to change and he's acknowledged what he's done is wrong so that's sometimes for example if the teacher wants to expel him it can be something that is probably inappropriate um, what would be more appropriate would be something that along the lines of giving him a small punishment because he shows remorse. If he doesn't show remorse, then 100% a very appropriate thing to do. Now the fifth point, completing another individual's task is completely inappropriate as they may not be fit for medical school. The same reasoning as I've mentioned prior, um, but these questions will essentially come up. Um, these principles will come up and there will be a small twist to them. So pay attention, understand what the question is actually answering and understand what the question is sort of asking for. But this should cover you for anything regarding a school scenario and hopefully we'll get onto other scenarios um, as we go through this course. Now, if you guys have liked the video in two ways, via the liking as well as the other way, luckily for you, I have the first completed online UK cat free course available for you. That's over four hours plus. Now, the way to access this is to use my referral code in the description box. It gives you two months free on Skillshare and hopefully that should really really help you if you have very minimal time i have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips essentially i explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that i haven't really explained basically catch you guys on the other side why is it hard for me why is it hard